Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a small Class C that still has luxury features and amenities that is 25 feet long. This is a 2022 Nexus Viper model 25V. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Nexus and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video, everyone. Again, I am super excited to show you all the fit and features about this motorhome. But before I begin, I do have to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. We are so excited because we are here in Texas at Motorhome Specialist. Yes. And we get to bring you so many RVs that we don't get to see. Absolutely. So I hope you guys are excited. And it is cold here. Yeah, it is actually very, very cold. I don't know how that happened, but let's get inside the motorhome. Wait. Andrea, okay, model is Nexus Viper 25V. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 24 feet 8 inches. This is the Nexus Viper. It is their top of the line Class C. Nexus actually considers this a B plus because there's no bunk over the cab. My opinion, it's a Class C. It's on a cutaway chassis. But again, that's up for debate. It is full body paint standard, which I think looks fantastic. Again, a lot of higher end features on this unit. Sys powered on an E350 chassis. It does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. And what's super exciting is this one's on the e E350 because it's a smaller, lighter one. You can option the E450 if you want to spend a little bit more money. I just like how they give you that option. And then look at these tires, Andrea, they're the hand cooks. Dynapro. I love those. LT225-75R16 with the shiny rims. Also, you got side cameras right there. Mirrors right here. And then look at the front cap. There's no seams in it. It's very, very nice that they do that. Coming on down the side here, we do have a power awning with LED lights. Um, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Hopefully, we don't hit the side. Yeah, I, I don't know. It may hit it, Matt. Matt, this paint job is really pretty. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome. Warranty of steel, 12 year structural, six year lamination warranty. The reason why they're able to do that is because Nex Nexus uses a high strength low alloy steel construction, which is 72% stronger than aluminum, which means 72% safer than aluminum. And for their fiberglass, they have the Asdell sidewall composite which is a green base material that will never delaminate on you. Right here's your water heater. Right here, Andre, it's gonna be your propane tanks. And we'll have all the specs bing, right there so everybody can see it. Right here, you do have GFI, okay. More storage there. All right. Very nice. More storage. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Coming around the back, we do have a nice fiberglass cap in the rear. 5,000 pound hitch, this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Backup camera right there. And then Andrea, we do have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. All right, Matt, hold on. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. One AC unit right there, small 30 amp unit. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna. And then here's places for max air covers. Hold on, Matt. Here we go. Last step. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, like, and subscribe. What an RV salesman's gonna drag his wife to Texas during a cold front and take his fat ass up on the roof. Show you what features the roof has to offer. Hello, buddy. And Andrea, tell everybody, it's cold in Texas. Yes, it is cold here in Texas. What the heck? Was well, not on? ready for that. Right here is the storage, 30 amp power cord underneath there. Okay. We got our inverter in there too, Matt, 2000 watt. 
Right here's your inlets, tank fills, city water fixtures. Right here's your outdoor shower. Okay. Right here, it's gonna be where you dump your black and gray tank. Okay. I like that. And I saw one underneath as well. Yeah. Oh, that's for the sewer. Yes. Okay. Fuel fill up here. Oh. Look at this. Nice. Very nice storage right there. Man, you never get that type of exterior storage. Right here is going to be your batteries. And okay. 4,000 watt generator. Oh, man, 4,000 watt generator. Yes, ma'am, Andrea. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Viper looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay, that's not a skip, Matt. That's a truck. Cargo carrying capacity. All right, slide is in. Let's take a look at this cab. All right, guys, here we go. Look at this walkway. Very nice. Plenty of space. You can definitely open your fridge. There is the bathroom there, and we have a bed that folds because it's on a slide. Okay. Hey, Andrea, while yes. we're getting the slide outs out, let's take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of this episode. U-Steps is an easy to use telescoping ladder. Very easy to store and bring with you in your RV. With their rubber tops that works individually on uneven surfaces and avoids sliding and damaging walls, adjustable heights to extend to only your desired height. And finally, the angulated rubber feet maximize surface contact to avoid slipping. We have a video demonstrating the U steps that we have. Make sure you guys check out that video. We will link it down in the description below. Also, we have a link to Amazon to buy their three ladders. Thank you so much to U steps for sponsoring this video. Great, Andrea, now you can see how big and spacious it is with the slide outs all the way out. The cargo carry capacity as well is 1,289 pounds. And again, if you did want a higher cargo carrying capacity, just upgrade to the E450 chassis. But Andrea, not everybody needs that. Let's get, that's why, that's why I do love the option. Let's get started in this front cockpit area. Oh, Andrea, we got the heat on. I know. It's so different, right? Right now, we're in the uh, cockpit area. We got power windows right here, power mirrors. You can adjust them. Right here, we do have the nice steering wheel. And then look at this. This is new for 2022. They finally went to the nice camera screen. Look at that. Left side, right side, and the reverse side. I bet you this has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Oh, wow. That's you got your cup holders right that. here. Very nice radio, Bluetooth, maybe not Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but still, it's still a nice big upgrade from last year's screen. How do you feel right there, Andrea? Very comfortable, very comfortable. I have plenty of leg space. Yes. I'm comfortable. Um, you can still recline the seat back. Oh, very nice. Take a nap. Yes, absolutely. And, um, yeah. And then above since you don't have a bunk over the cab you do have storage right here very nice storage on that side we've got the tv there tv yes ma'am and then storage on this side i like the lights yes lit up storage very nice and then over here no sofa area no quote living room uh but again it's a small motorhome so you only have the dinette Right here, we do have the storage above. Very nice. How do you like the light fixture, Andrea? Um, the light fixture is okay. Okay, what about the balances? I do like the balances. Good. Nexus, you did a good job. I see you made a change. Yes, very it's, nice. It's, they're actually pretty cute. Okay, I like it. You do have the slow rise privacy shades, no daytime shades. Nice table. Yes, nice table right here. It's like a little textured. Yeah, very nice. You got your cup holders there and everything. And this table does drop down to make a bed. And there is storage under this side of the dinette. Nice. I love that part, that how it slides out or glides out. 
And Andrea, would you like to show everybody the kitchen? Sure. Before you do, I would like to remind everybody that we are part of RV Retailer now. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter what RV you want to buy. All you got to do is go to mattsrvrvs.com, fill out that first contact tab. We are going to take the best care of you, and we're going to get you a phenomenal price. And that's why we're here at our dealership partner, uh, Motorhome Specialist, today. Okay, everybody, here's the kitchen. Uh, we got an adjustable shelf right here, yes. which is nice. We have very little counter space. Okay. Uh, it's a small motorhome, right? It is a very small motorhome. We've got a small sink. Oh, wait, what's this? What is that? Uh -oh. Hey, that's a lily pad of power right there. We need that. Yes. And then under here, we have a, a little bit of storage. Very nice. I like the LED lights under here. Okay. We've got a uh, convection microwave. Interesting. Wow. A3 burner propane Dometic cooktop. Yes. With an oven. Okay. And then we've got this um, Dometic refrigerator that, Look at that runs off your inverter. That's new. Look at power. how big it is. Yeah. I, I actually like that. Yeah. Because they didn't, didn't always use Dometic. No, no. That's new. Okay. Over here is where I guess we would have our pantry. Yes. Adjustable shelves, which is nice. Love that. And then we've got drawers here. Oh, and here. Very nice. And then I guess this would be your wardrobe. It could be whatever. You can have all wardrobe or all pantry. Another drawer. Yes, ma'am. And ma another drawer. Very nice. Very cute. And then uh, coming into the bedroom area, you do have a curtain. Okay. If you want your privacy. Okay. Foldable how, mattress. Yes, look at how low the bed is. Very okay. low. This is a queen, right? Yes, yeah. queen size bed. You got the side windows there. Um, Turn those lights on, Matt. I can't really see very well. There we light go. On, light on. Storage light above. Storage. Yes, ma'am. And then um, it's interesting with no headboard back here. Oh, you, you got a little cubby, cubby there. Right there. Yeah. And then, Matt, there is a little nightstand. Well, very tiny over there. Right. And then right here is the TV, Andrea. Okay. Which is very nice. Very simple. And then let's check out the bathroom. Okay. Going into the bathroom, we have this sliding door here. Here we're going now. Very small in here. Look at this. Very tiny. Oh, it's a oh. small motorhome. Um, not horrible. Not great. Not horrible. This is like a 30 by 24 shower. Glass door, nice sky dome. It gets the job done, definitely for somebody like me. Andrea. Okay, uh, here's a medicine cabinet. I don't know if you can see that. No, yeah, of course we okay. can. Okay, got a good size medicine cabinet. Mm -hmm. uh, little sink, counter space, LED lights. We've got three drawers here. Wow. And then another cabinet right here. Yes, I gotta say, this is a very interesting design for okay. a bathroom. Okay. Yeah, it is. And then Andrea, now uh -oh. pedestal. Oh, Matt. <laughs> uh. Andrea, we we cannot win with motorhomes. I know. At motorhome specialist, we are picking all the units that don't have prime pooping positions. They need to eliminate this altogether. At least that counter. Like you don't need right drawers. There. You don't yeah. need drawers in a bathroom, especially this small. That's how I feel about that. Okay. Well, Andrea, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is. But before we tell everybody, it's now time we give you three things we love about the Viper and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Um, let's do three things we like about it. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go first. Okay. For me, I'm going to do a combo. I like how low this bed is. I hate when the bed's up to my belly button, but also I hate that the bed folds but at least they put the fold at the end of the bed so you're not sleeping on your fold. I must say, I really do like that feature. That is number one. Andrea, number two? Okay, I really like that they're going with this Dometic refrigerator. Yes. It's a lot bigger, it looks a lot sleeker. Yep. Um, and I like that they're going to the this one that runs off your inverter. Yeah, no, for so sure. So I really do like this refrigerator a lot. Absolutely. So that's number two. And then Andre, number three, I'm gonna say the construction of it. I love the steel cage construction. I love the Asdale sidewalls, but I also love the full body paint on this unit. You know, there's a lot of people that want some fancier things in life without buying a freaking 40 foot class A. Right. So to get that, to have it, it, it's just a really nice touch. Now Andre, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this motorhome. Bum, bum, bum. 
You're going first? I can go one and two. Talk to me. One. Uh, not enough counter space at all. Concur. Uh, we need to have, uh, I wish there was at least the option for the extension here. Yes. We gotta have some kind of drawer to pull out some counter space. I here. agree. I agree. Okay. That, that's kind of a big deal. That's number one. Number two. I like what they've done with, with the decor. I see they, they've made some changes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do like the balances. I do think it's time that they go to some lighter cabinets. Okay. I think much lighter cabinets and lighter interior would have went a lot better with the with, balances. Yeah. No. Nope. would have made it a lot brighter in here because it is kind of dark. I concur. I so, concur. That's my second dislike. Okay. Number two. And then Andre, number three for me, it's going to be so small. I actually, one I don't like how tall the toilet is where my feet's dangling but it's not that it, it was this right here those drawers eliminate the whole drawers i can deal with an elevated toilet i can get a squatty potty you know what i'm saying but the way the toilet is to where that is it really takes away a lot of room no bueno not gonna work for me not here in texas andrea or not here anywhere in america <laughs> everything's okay? bigger in texas yes especially those those cabinet drawers well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. People have watched the whole video. They've been waiting. You ready? MSRP on this motorhome is $155,877, Andrea. MSRP. That's just MSRP. That's not sale price or anywhere close to sale price because we have now partnered with RVR. So if you're interested in this motorhome or any motorhome, please go to mattsrvreviews.com and click that first contact tab. That's when you fill out the form, it's gonna take you to a member of my team. So it doesn't matter where you live, Andre. If you live in California, Texas, Florida, New York, we have a dealership close to you that sells this product or any product. So fill out that form, a member of my team will call you. They're going to give you the best price, the best deal, and the best service on buying an RV. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you just like. Yes. Nexus watches all our videos yep. and they do read all the comments. They sure do. So please leave your feedback. Yes. Thank you so much to Motorhome Specialist for letting us be here today. Absolutely. We really are having a good time. And I hope you guys are safe and well. And also, don't forget that we have our new, mer new merchandise out. Yes. So take advantage of that. Get those while they're out. And I hope you guys are safe and well. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.